Hi guys, welcome back to Caramia's Corner. Join me today for a new project using my Scan and Cut DX. I'm still exploring this machine and today we're going to be making a cute little gift box for Mother's Day. It is a little birdhouse. So I'm showing you the canvas workspace and just showing you all the projects that you can make and that it offers without subscribing and that's one of the reasons I bought this machine. Today we are going to make these little cute birdhouse gift boxes. So on the left side down below you can download it to your PC and you can also export it wirelessly to your machine. On the top, it shows you a video on how to assemble it, and it's super easy. It also offers a PDF recipe that gives you step-by-step. -step. So once I've downloaded that and transferred it to my Scan and Cut, the next step is to retrieve the file. So here we are. We're going to retrieve the data. Pick that icon on the right that shows us the computer, and it'll show us the template of the box on our 12 by 12 sheet. So I love that feature. I can work right here on my machine. I am going to load my paper. So I picked this Bow Bunny uh, pattern paper. I love the colors on this one. I think it'll look great as a base for the birdhouse um, box. Once that's loaded, we are going to select OK. And it says select. We're going to cut. It gives you an estimated time once you press start. And the beauty of this machine is, although it will say we'll cut 9 minutes, 5 minutes, or 3 minutes, I've noticed that it's cut most of the projects that I've made so far in less than the estimated time it tells you, which is awesome. So we're just cutting our template for our box. And we will have a look and see how this all comes out. So I am excited to explore more projects, uh, so stay tuned. So here it is all cut and done. We are gonna pull that off and look how beautifully it cut that box. So I don't need to buy a giant die, die uh, set to cut this template, which is awesome, it's already built in. We have some extra hearts for future projects. I'm now back on Canvas Workspace here and I'm basically exporting these other three files wirelessly to my Scan and Cut. It was a quick transfer and again, I am just going to retrieve it. Select that computer icon on the right and now it shows me how that's laid out on the mat and that's how you lay out your paper as well. I'm going to load my paper. So I have my first one here at the top. I have my vellum on the bottom right and another pattern paper on the bottom left. Now once that's loaded, we're going to go back here and select OK. I'm going to select that and we're going to cut start. You can also do a test, but since I know that my machine is doing good, I just went ahead and picked the start button. So once we've done cutting this, we are going to say OK. I am going to press the home button and I'm just going to say OK to that. Press the feed, unloading feed of paper and look at that. So for my roof, this is what the cutout looks like. Still deciding if I should pick the yellow or pink side. Then we have our pink heart cutouts. And this is what it looks like. So we're going to use that um, frame cutout for our windows. So I'm going to put that aside. And definitely can use these cute little hearts for a different project. Now for our vellum, we have these that will be for the windows. Cut it beautifully there. You can definitely use these uh, other pieces of paper stencils if you need heart stencils as well. So we have our second heart here. And we are ready to assemble our pieces together. 
So first up, I am going to go ahead and assemble the vellum pieces to the window cutouts here using just some glue. I'm having fun just exploring the different features of this machine. I know it has the capability to draw and emboss. Um, I'm still going to have to get some of the extra accessories for that to be able to do that. But I'll definitely share that with you once I get those um, in. But for now, we are going to work on just some scan and cut projects. And then here I am just putting some glue on our frame, our heart frame. So I picked this nice pink. Isn't that pretty? It looks so cute on top of that. I'm going to flip that over and do the other side. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. It's a sunny day here in California. We're probably going to take another mini hike. So if you follow me on Instagram, now and then I'll post some pictures of what we see along our walks. It's been really fun. And it's great to exercise and just get out there once in a while. So now that we have that, the next step is to run our uh, ribbon through. So I picked this scrappy green ribbon. wanted to give it a little bit of a grungy look. And so just going to run that through here. I think it's about a fourth of an inch in measurement for the trim or ribbon that you can use for this particular box. So just going to put that through and then I'll show you the other steps. So now that we have that, I'm just going to pull that out. You can also um, glue down the ribbon in the center. Now I love this die cut or this cut because it already has pre-scored lines for your box so there's no guesswork you can go right to it and just fold it and that's what I'm doing here then we have another crease line or score line here at the bottom and then we have these side ones and they're going to be the ones that attach to these pieces. So I'm going to fold this over. And then the next step, we are just going to put some double side tape. And now that it's ready, we are going to attach that to our box wall there. So again, their video is super easy, step by step. So if you are a beginner crafter, um, I, I would suggest you watch it. And it just walks you through each step. And if you're you know not familiar with the machine as well. So now that that's done, I'm going to fold the top parts here. That will be our roof. coming together and this is a super fun and easy project. Can't wait to fill it out and include it in some uh, Mother's Day gift boxes that I'll be mailing off to my mom and my sister very soon. Now we have that. The next piece is to get our roof just adjusting the ribbon there and now we have our little cutout of our roof so I am gonna go with this side just gonna fold it in half again it has the score line all ready for you to go and we have our little um, little cutouts on the side there where you can put your ribbon through I'm just going to run that through on each side. 
and then create a bow and tie a bow on top. So you can definitely fill this with chocolate, like miniature little uh, jam bottles, uh, candles, a gift card, and other items. I might put some cozy socks in here, just roll it up and put it in there. Now I'm just going to trim our ribbon and we are almost done. We're actually done. I will just add one more embellishment. So take a look at that. Our little birdhouse box is done. Now I'm just going to add a cute little clip-on of this bird. And I got this um, from Hobby Lobby. I think they sell a set of four. Super cute and easy. I just love it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this cute little project from my scan and cut again I'll be sharing another project soon and um, I wanted to ask you and show you a couple projects which one of these projects would you like to see next so I picked a couple comment below and let me know if you would like to see the butterfly cutout card or should I make the cork notebook cover so thanks again for watching, Karamia's Corner. See you next time. Bye.